the beginning of the build of Audio Man. Welcome to Hack a Week. So the other day I saw a Hackaday IO post on Twitter about a circuit sculpture contest. And it's going on right now. It goes on until 12 p.m. Tuesday, January 8th is the deadline for entries. And what it is is a circuit sculpture basically in that style called dead bug style or free form style or just bare wire style. The kind where uh, basically all the wires are showing and they're all bare and it's like heavy copper wire holding all the components just floating around in space. Some of them are encased in resin, some of them are part of another sculpture and people have gotten very creative with them so of course I was inspired to uh, join this contest because the last one I did was the 555 contest that was Jerry Ellsworth and Chris Gamble quite a few years back now that I think about it. I think that was about seven years ago, maybe eight. Anyway, I've got an idea for an entry and it's called Audio Man. So um, I did a few drawings here and this one is uh, the sketch I did this last weekend when I was uh, in um, a little vacation cabin for a few days. My wife and I took a little vacation because her birthday and my birthday are within a few days of each other. And every year this time, we take a little vacation and enjoy some time off. Well, we also got stuck there because it snowed and we didn't want to travel on the roads because they were icy. So we're hanging out for a few days, getting crafty, having some fun. And um, well, when I saw that whole thing about the circuit sculpture contest, this was the idea I came up with, so I call him Audio Man. And you can see here what's going on. He's basically a skeletal structure. He's going to be made out of copper. Various gauges of copper wire for the various parts of his body. And the, uh, the LM386 amplifier is going to be in his rib cage. In the back are going to be some uh, hearing aid batteries all stacked up which look a lot like vertebrae in a spine. That should be pretty cool. Gonna put the speaker in his mouth, a uh, headphone jack in one ear, which will basically be the input jack, a 1 8 inch mini input jack. And uh, on the other ear over here, there will be a volume knob, a volume pot mounted in his head and probably do something where the arms raise up and that's what turns it on. Maybe put some LEDs in his eyeballs that modulate with the audio as it's, um, as it's coming out. So that's, that's the basics there of what it's gonna look like. I found some really cool anatomy uh, drawings, um, you know, pictures on the internet. This one's got all the parts uh, of our body, our bones labeled, so what I want to do is actually measure these out with uh, a micrometer and build it to about this height, probably about eight and a half, what is that, maybe nine inches tall, uh, roughly that, and use this as basically my blueprint for all the bones. So I'm going to make the bones out of different gauges of copper wire and the rib cage, and then we're going to mount everything inside that rib cage. I'm going to route some wires up to the head uh, for the... Um, Oh, got one more here too, another drawing that's got like a side perspective of the rib cage and skull. So quite a bit of room in that rib cage for a uh, dead bug style circuit. Um, wires running through everything to connect the stuff in the head to the things in the torso and the speaker and all that. I'm going to use red and blue fine gauge wire, probably like some 22 gauge, maybe 24 gauge wire red and blue because they'll look like arteries and veins. Cool, huh? And I did a quick drawing of the rough layout of what the dead bug layout of the LM386 amplifier is going to be. So it's going to look kind of like this. All just bare wires open. LM386 uh, circuit's a pretty basic one, not too much to it. There's three capacitors, uh, four capacitors, one resistor, one LM386. And of course on the audio in, uh, that will be coming from the uh, 1 8 inch mini jack on the head 
and the input is modulated by the, uh, the, the pot in the other side, the volume potentiometer. So what we're doing on this amp is we're actually changing the volume by um, attenuating the input, not the output. So that's the way that's going to work. So that's the basic layout of what's going to go in the rib cage. So I'm really excited about getting to work on this. It's going to be lots of fun. Uh, i got to get together the copper wire. I've got some here. I need to go buy some more. I'm going to use different gauges, like I said. Um, this gauge is going to be about the size I'll use for, uh, I don't even know what this is. Um, it just says copper wire, soft copper wire. Oh, there it is, 18. So this is 18 gauge. So this is probably what will be mostly on the dead bug uh, LM386 circuit, something like this gauge. And then on a lot of the finer bones in the feet and, uh, and the legs and arms, um, fingers, things like that, I'll probably use just some it's like house wiring, you know, from some Romex, probably like a, a 14 gauge, 16 gauge. And then on the bigger bones like the femur, Probably go down to like a eight gauge wire. If I can find some solid eight gauge wire, that would be really cool. Um, things like the scapula in the shoulder. This is gonna be an anatomy lesson too, by the way, building this. The scapula, the sternum on the rib cage, um, the pelvis, those areas. I'm gonna make those out of some sheet copper and actually hammer it and bend it into shape. And when it's all done, I want to balance it so that it can stand on its own, actually stand there and stay balanced. And you know, the guy will be standing there with his head back, speaker shouting into the void, whatever it is I put into the amplifier, music, whatever, my voice maybe, you know, we'll have some fun with that. Maybe I can dig out Joe Grand's old uh, text-to-speech module and connect that up and have some fun with it. But anyway, it's gonna be a great project. Uh, this is basically the introduction to it. Oh, and by the way, today, my YouTube channel hit 100,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Uh, but YouTube is also eliminating some of the spam subscribers. So that number may go down, but it's definitely on a trend up. And hey, as far as I'm concerned, I hit 100K. Really excited about that, and I have you to thank for it. Thanks for subscribing, all you wonderful YouTube viewers. It's been quite a journey. I think I've been doing this now for seven years, at least. Maybe, yeah, something like that. Long time. It's fun to be back at it. My business that I've started up is doing really well, and uh, I've got a little bit of time now to do videos again. And so this month is Nerd Thunder Month. Whoa, that lightning thing is really scary. And uh, this is all about sharing videos and other people's channels who do really cool nerdy stuff. And so last week I shared a few in the links down below. This week what I'm gonna do is share some right over here. Go check out the post-apocalyptic inventor. Some really fun stuff on that channel. And also Dave Darko, his channel, He's in the contest doing some really uh, neat stuff with a kind of a, a game thing that he did on a dead bug circuit that he entered in the contest that's really cool. Go check those two channels out. And uh, I guess that's about it. We're gonna wrap it up. Thanks for those 100,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all of your support. Be sure to go to the Hack -A Week store the link is down there and you can get your cool uh, Hack -A Week t-shirt. It's got a new logo, Hack -A Week DIY Projects. Gave the facelift to the website last week. Go check that out too. And uh, well, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time.